Welcome our space explorers. Today, we will take a calm journey to our observable universe. It's a journey about how far we can travel to space. The sky, or atmosphere as scientists prefer to refer to it, is directly above you. It rises roughly 32 kilometers, 20 miles, above Earth. A variety of molecules, which are very small pieces of air that you inhale in billions each time you breathe, are floating around in the atmosphere. There is space above the atmosphere and has a lot fewer molecules and a lot more empty space between them. Have you ever considered what it might be like to go to space and then continue on? What might you discover? Many of the things you would see can be explained by scientists. However, there are some things that are still unknown to us, such as whether or not space is infinite. You might recognize some of the sights as you begin your journey through space. The Earth is a member of a group of planets that revolve around the Sun, along with some asteroids and comets that also orbit the Sun. You may be aware that although it appears larger and brighter than other stars due to its proximity to Earth, the Sun is actually just an average star. You would need to travel through trillions of miles of space to reach the next nearest star. Even if you could travel there on the quickest spacecraft NASA has ever built, it would still take you thousands of years. If stars were like homes, then galaxies would be like cities made up entirely of homes. The estimated number of stars in the galaxy surrounding Earth is 100 billion. Beyond the galaxy of Earth, if you could zoom out, those 100 billion stars would start to resemble one another, much like how city lights do when seen from an aeroplane. Recently, astronomers discovered that the majority of stars have their own planets in orbit around them. Some of them even resemble Earth, so it's possible that other beings who are curious about the universe call them home. To reach another galaxy, you would need to travel millions of trillions of miles further through space. Only a few stray molecules and the minuscule mysterious invisible particles known as dark matter can be found in most of that nearly empty space. Astronomers can see millions of galaxies in space using large telescopes, and they just keep expanding in all directions. It would appear as though new space is gradually being added between all of the galaxies if you could observe for a very long time, over many millions of years. Imagine tiny dots on a deflated balloon, then imagine blowing it up to visualize this. Just as galaxies do, the dots would continue to spread apart. Is there an end? Would you just continue passing by galaxies forever if you could travel as far as you wanted to? Do galaxies extend indefinitely in all directions? Or does everything come to an end eventually? And if it does come to an end, how does it do so? Scientists don't yet have conclusive answers to these queries. Many people believe that it is likely that galaxies would continue to pass by you in all directions forever. In that scenario, there would be no beginning or end to the universe. If you could just keep going out, you would eventually come back around to where you started, from the other direction, according to some scientists who believe that the universe may eventually wrap back around on itself. Imagine a globe and imagine yourself as a creature that can only move on the surface as one way to think about this. You would eventually return to your starting point if you started walking in any direction, like east for instance. The universe would not be infinitely large if this were the case, but it would still be larger than you can imagine. You could never travel to the edge of the universe or of space, in either case. Currently, scientists don't believe the universe has an end, where the galaxies would stop or where there would be a physical barrier designating the end of space. However, nobody can be certain. A future scientist will need to determine how to respond to this question. You can also watch our another curious video. It is about our universe might be created in a lab. If you have liked our research video, please do subscribe and comment below. You can click on video showing above and hit the subscribe button now for astronomy, cosmology and science updates. Thank you and take care.